What is going on, fan clan? Happy Friday! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Hope you guys are all doing well on this lovely, wonderful November week. Ooh, Thanksgiving is next week. That's very exciting. We are finishing up week number six of our eight weeks of celebrations giveaways, and we are giving away uh, I can't even remember what it is. A Pikachu V Union Box and a Dragapult Pin Collection. And the winner is Limited Availability. Congratulations, Limited Availability. Thank you so much for the support. You are going to be the proud winner, the proud new owner of a Pikachu V Union Box and a Dragapult Pin Collection. Just hit me up on Instagram. You can find me at Danny.Phantom if you don't currently follow me. Or you can find me on Twitter, Danny underscore underscore O. Uh, or just send me an email and let me know your mailing address so I can get this shipped out to you. We are now going to officially be starting week number seven of our eight weeks of celebrations giveaways. And this is a big one. This week, we are giving away doo -doo -doo -doo, a ultra premium collection. This is what everybody wants. This is what everybody has been looking for. And we have a sealed, perfect, uh, perfect condition ultra premium collection if you want this all you have to do to enter to win the contest enter to win the giveaway it's not a contest you don't really have to do anything it's just a giveaway uh, all you have to do is just leave a like on the video comment down below and most importantly hit that subscribe button if you are not currently subscribed uh, if the box down below is red with white lettering that says subscribe you need to click that and then leave a like leave a comment and you could be the proud new owner of a sealed ultra premium collection from celebrations we'll be running this giveaway for the entire week and we'll choose our winner next week friday in that episode or that video uh, and then we will finally wrap up the celebrations giveaways week eight will be another very very fun big giveaway so um with that being said i want to jump right into things today we are doing pull rates on fusion strike i was able to compile all the data late last night Stayed up late, got it all out there so I can deliver you guys. I hope you enjoy this stuff because it's a lot of fun to talk about. It's a lot of fun to share it, uh, but it's a lot of fun to, or, or it's a lot of work to organize it in a, a manner where at least I can share it. So uh, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, I'm going to, it says Evolving Skies at the top. We're going to just change that quick because it's actually Fusion Strike, not Evolving Skies. Um, but it's actually a, a very interesting set because I'm going to get into that in, in a few minutes after we go through things here. But it's actually very interesting because of how massive it is. It's 284 cards. That includes secret rares. That includes ultra rares. That includes uh, alternate art VMAXs and things like that. Uh, but for this set, we opened less of this set than we did of Evolving Skies, which was a smaller set, mind you. We opened less of this set than we did of Chilling Rain, uh, but we are closer to the master set than either of those sets. And I'm going to explain why that is to you. And maybe Fusion Strike is worth opening a little bit instead of Chilling Rain or instead of Evolving Skies. A lot of it is based more off of what you are excited about in the set. You know, what cards you're excited about. Evolving Skies obviously has some killer alternate arts and a lot of Pokemon that people are more excited about. Plus, as we go through some of these things, it's like, why are they reprinting this V card again? They've already printed it a hundred times. Uh, but it's actually a little bit easier to accomplish a master set for Fusion Strike than what it is for Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain. We'll get on into that in just a few minutes here. But uh, to kind of preface things, we I took poll information data from 48 boxes, which I think is like just over 1,700 packs. Now, that is not quite enough to get a really good, strong, accurate pull rate. You're going to need like 10,000 packs, but this is a good starting point. This is a good starting point where you can kind of combine it with your own. If you do your own spreadsheets, you can add it to other data that's out there. This gives you at least a rough understanding of where pulls are going to be. You can kind of see, okay, well, ultra regular art V cards, you're going to get every, uh, you know, you're going to get one in every hundred or you're going to get one in every like eight packs, nine packs, whatever it is. We'll, we'll go through the data here in a second, but um, so... We're going to start out just with regular arts. Uh, Appleton V, after opening up 48 boxes, we pulled 11, which was every 157 packs you pulled in Appleton. Boltund, uh, 17 we pulled, which is 100 in every 102. That was the most popular ultra rare that we pulled, Bolton V. Breloom V, uh, 12 is what we pulled, so one out of every 144 packs. Chandelure, we pulled 14, which is one out of every 123. Cinderace is a little confusing because there's two of them, so we pulled a total of 17, uh, but two, they're, they're two, I don't know why there's two different, I don't even know why there's one Cinderace in this set to begin with. It's like, we're just going to throw more ultra rares at this set because it needs more cards, apparently. Uh, but there's two Cinderace Vs, one's like number 143 and one's number 144 or something like that. Uh, but 
the one, number 143, uh, we pulled nine of them. That's one out of every 192 packs. The other one was pretty much the same difficulty to pull, one out of every 216 packs. Then there's Crabominable V, uh, which is not quite the lowest card that we pulled, but the second lowest, one out of every 247 packs. Dodrio, Dodrio, whatever you want to call it, we pulled 15 out of 15 of them, one out of every 115 packs. Genesect, which is probably the one you want to pull the most because it's the most competitive one, we pulled 16 of those, one out of every 108 packs. Gengar V, Definitely another good one to pull. Uh, Bolton V is not the one you want to pull the most of, but Gengar V was also the most prevalent one in the set. We pulled one out of every 102 packs uh, for a total of 17. Greeting V was surprisingly low, considering uh, it was higher for like the, the VMAX and the full art, but a little bit lower for the regular art. Uh, we pulled seven of them, which is one out of every 247. Greninja V, another bulk V. Uh, we pulled 12, one out of every 144. Inteleon, we pulled 11 of them, one out of every 157. Why they're reprinting Inteleon again for like the 80th time? I'm not sure. Same thing with Lucario. We already had one in Champion's Path. Mew makes sense to me because it's kind of like the, the mascot of the set. But Lucario, we pulled 11, which is one out of every 157 packs. Mew, we pulled 13. Not too bad. One out of every 133 packs. Then we've got another Pikachu V. It took us a while to get a Pikachu V. And then we got like Vivid Voltage shit. And then we got a bunch of promo ones. And now we've got uh, one here. And it's nine of them we pulled. One out of every 190. Two packs. Rillaboom, another Rillaboom. Uh, we pulled 12 of them, one out of every 144 packs. Serena was the one that we pulled the least amount. I think you're probably going to get uh, every 100, I mean, 288 packs it took to pull a Serena. So we pulled six of them total. That seems a little bit skewed, but not too terribly. And then Tyranitar V, another card. Uh, as much as I love Tyranitar, we just had uh, Tyranitar in Battle Styles. We had Tyranitar. Uh, in the, the promo, the, the V Striker tin, and now here we go again with another Tyranitar in a main set of Fusion Strike. We pulled nine of them every 192. Uh, v Maxes, there's a lot less V Maxes than what we've seen in past sets, than what we saw in. Um, Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies. This is going back to like, it almost feels like Darkness and Blaze levels as far as how many VMAXs are in the set. But uh, for Bolton VMAX, we only pulled six of them. One of the lower end, considering the fact that we pulled a lot of regular art Bolton Vs. Not as many Bolton VMAX. Pulled six of them. One out of every 288. Chandelure VMAX, we pulled eight. Cinderace VMAX, we pulled 11. Gengar VMAX, probably the one, either this one or the Mew EX are the ones you want to pull the most of. Uh, Gengar, we didn't pull as many of. We only pulled six of them, uh, one out of every 288 packs. Green V Max, we pulled six of, one out of every 288 packs. Inteleon, uh, another decently competitive card, uh, but we pulled the least amount of V Maxes, five. So one out of every 346 packs. Mew was one of the more popular ones, uh, luckily which is one out of every 173 packs. We pulled 10 of them. Same thing with Rillaboom VMAX, 10 of them every 173 packs. Full arts, again, much less, many less full arts in this set than what we've seen in past sets. And that's not necessarily because they converted them over to alternate arts. And I get kind of confused as to what qualifies as an alternate art because in my mind, an alternate art would be, hey, you have a full art version and an alternate art, art, alternate art version of the same card in the same set. But for like Celebi V, yeah, we've had a full art version, but that was in a previous set. So isn't it just a full art in this set? Sanaconda, uh, is it really an alternate art if we don't have another full art in this set? Same thing with, um, that's I guess those are the only two because I, the other three all have full arts in this set. Uh, but if we look at full arts, Serena V, we only pulled two of. That was the least amount, uh, along with Hoopa, one out of every 864 packs. Chandelure V, we pulled five of them. 345.6 packs. Crabominable V, we've only pulled three. And Bolton V, we only pulled three. So that's one out of every 576 packs. Mew V, which is the one you want to pull, uh, we pulled the most of. So six of them, one out of every 288 packs. Hoopa, like I said, we only pulled two. Genesect V, another decent card selling for about 20 bucks right now. We pulled three of them, one out of every 576 packs. Fun fact for you, we were about five cards away from the Master Set when we finally pulled our first Genesect V, and we ended up pulling three of them all together after only a few more boxes is being opened so uh, it took us a while to pull it but then we pulled a few of them in a row which just kind of goes to show you you really need a lot of packs to get a really good understanding about pull rates greeting v we pulled four of one out of every 432 packs moving on to full art full art trainers which you've got about seven of a decent chunk of chili and Cillin and crest we pulled four of one out of every 432 packs dancer we pulled six of Alessa's Sparkle, we pulled four of. That's probably the one you want to pull the most. Schoolboy, we did not pull a Rainbow Rare Schoolboy, and we only pulled one 
full art schoolboy. Very, very surprising to me. One out of every 1,728 packs, obviously. Schoolgirl, we only pulled two of. Same thing with Shauna. Same thing with Sydney. Uh, the full art trainers were a little hard to come by, except for Dancer, which uh, appeared quite a bit. Alternate arts, I think these are going to have very similar pull rates to what we saw from full arts. It seems like that's kind of the level that Pokemon is going to, where your alternate arts and your full arts are going to have pretty much the same pull rates. Celebi V is the one we pulled the most of. Uh, we pulled five of, which is every 346 packs. Sandakonda V, we only pulled one of. Same thing with the Mew V, only one of those. Genesect V and Greedent V, we pulled three of each, which is one out of every 576 packs. Rainbow Rares were very tough to find in this set for 48 boxes. We only pulled a total of, how many is this here? This is 14. We only pulled a total of 14 out of 48 boxes. I've got the ratios down below that we'll look at in a minute here, but that's pretty bad. Chandelure VMAX, we only pulled one. Bolton VMAX, we only pulled one. Chili and Cillin and Cress, we only pulled one. As you can see, these are the three cards we're missing for a master set. Just these three. So, Greedent VMAX, Mew VMAX, and Schoolboy. We did not pull a Rainbow Rare of any of those. Dancer, we pulled three of. That was the one we pulled the most. Alessa Sparkle, we pulled two of. School Girl, tied for the most with three. And then Shauna, we pulled one. Sydney, we pulled two. So not great pull rates for the Rainbow Rares. Luckily, the alternate arts, not too terrible when it comes to the Secret Rare versions. We pulled four Espeon VMAXs, which is actually really, really strong. That's one out of every 432 packs. When you compare that to, like, the Schoolboy Full Art Trainer card, we pulled one of out of every 17 or out of 1728 packs we pulled almost as many espion vmax as we pulled regular art serenas we pulled more espion vmax alternate arts uh we pulled double than serena full arts that's a little weird to me but one out of every 432 packs inteleon vmax the alternate art and mu vmax the ultimate alternate art we pulled three of which is one out of every 576 pack only one gengar vmax unfortunately just one 1,728 packs, and that came fairly early on. Uh, same thing with the gold Pokemon. There's only one in this set, and it's Flaffy. Very, very cute card. I love it, uh, but we only pulled one of them. 1,728 packs that took us to pull just one Flaffy. Grass Energy was the other card that took us a long time to pull. We made it through 42 boxes without pulling any of them, and then pulled two in our last case. Uh, so we only pulled two total. 864 packs it took us to pull a Grass Energy. Fire Energies, all over the place for some reason. We pulled seven of them, which is more than what we pulled for... Uh, Serena, it's the same amount that we pulled for Greedent V, Crabominable V, the same as regular arts, some of them. Crazy. Fire Energy, seven secret rares. Uh, one out of every 247 packs, basically. Training Court, we only pulled three. And Power Tablet, we only pulled one. So, if we go and we look at the overall data here, uh, total packs opened, 1,728. Total boxes opened, 48. If you look at the average hits per box, this is actually the highest average hits per box we have ever had in Pokemon since I've been doing this data. So you will get 7.89, 7.9 hits per box. If you remember the Evolving Skies pull rate video that we did, it was 7.88. So about the same. If you remember Chilling Rain, when we did that, that was like 7.8, very, very close. Very, very close. The difference here is that we didn't have those outliers. And I know some of you commented on the last video, which was super, super cool of you, to let me know some of the outliers that you had when you were opening. Uh, somebody said that their son only opened up four and they opened up a box and got 11. Uh, 48 boxes, we did not have any boxes that had less than 6, we did not have any boxes that had more than 9. So every box either had 6, 7, 8, 9, plenty of boxes that didn't have a secret rare, plenty of boxes that didn't have a full art, which is, we're going to talk about in a second here, that's very, very unfortunate, that's annoying. Uh, average hits per box, 7.89, 7.9. Average regular arts per box, you're going to get about 4.5, 1 out of every 8 packs. So if you go to the store, you buy 8 packs, you should get... Uh, an ultra rare, uh, a regular art ultra rare in those. In those. Uh, average VMAX per box, like I said, this is less than what we've had in past sets. So your average VMAX per box goes down. So we're only at 1.29, which is a little bit lower. You're used, we're used to being about 1.8. Closer to that 2 range for VMAXs per box. We're only at 1.29. Full Arts is terrible. Only 0.58 per box. 61 packs it takes to get a full art. So if you go to the store, you buy 62 packs, you should get a full art. That's that's very unfortunate. That full art includes all of your alternate. I mean, that includes all of your trainers, all of your all of your full arts. 
uh, full art Pokemon. It does not include your alternate arts at all. Uh, average alternate arts per box, you get about a, a quarter, 0.27 per box. 133 packs it takes to find an alternate art. Uh, that does include the secret VMAXs. Average full art trainers per box, 0.43, so a little bit less than half, uh, 82 packs it takes to pull a full art trainer. Average secret rares per box, this does include the uh, alternate art secrets, the gold Pokemon, and the gold items, as well as the rainbow rares, as you can see, 0.81. So, so many times people open up boxes, they don't pull a secret rare at all. There's no rainbow rare, there's no alternate art secret, there's no gold Pokemon, there's no gold item, and they think, holy cow, this is terrible. Was this box tampered with? Was this box resealed? Uh, but unfortunately, numbers show you're not guaranteed to get one. And unfortunately, 0.81 isn't great. You have to get 44 packs in order to get a secret rare. So that's very unfortunate. Average rainbow rares per box is 0.29, which is 123 packs. Average secret items per box is 0.27, which is one out of every 132. Average secret Pokemon, there's only one. So 0.02, it's going to take you 1,728 packs to get one. That's obviously going to be a little bit higher. It's probably closer to 1,000, 1,200, somewhere around there. Average secret alternate arts per box less than 0 0.25, so 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 157 packs in order to get an average secret alternate uh, alternate art. All right, I wanted to compare this to Evolving Skies, and I wanted to talk about this because a lot of people are complaining about uh, set size, which I can understand. It's 284 cards. It's not as daunting as you would think to complete the master set. Like I said, we're only three cards away, and we've opened up less of this set than we did of the last two sets. I think for Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies, we had like seven, eight cards that we needed in order to complete a master set. The reason behind that is there's only 67 Ultras in Fusion Strike. So the 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 more filler of the set the the that make up that 284 cards are commons, uncommons, trainers, uh, rares, cards like that. Whereas Evolving Skies, 105 Ultras. That's the problem. That's what makes pull rates seem so, so bad. Because pull rates are staying the same. Pull rates aren't going up. You're still getting between 7 and 8 hits per box on average. If you're going to have 105 Ultra Rares in a set, you should probably up the pull rates a little bit to closer to that 10 mark, so that way you're completing the set in about the same financial strain as what you would do to complete a set normally. But since there's 105 Ultra Rares in, Ch in Evolving Skies, 97 Ultra Rares in Chilling Rain, that's a lot if you're only getting between 7 and 8 Ultra Rares per box. That's going to take a lot, like a lot of boxes that you're going to have to open. And if there's less than one secret rare per box and the majority of these cards that are making up those extras are rainbow rares and secret rares, when Pokemon added that rainbow rare variant, that secret rare variant, that really hurt your chances of completing a master set in any good financial aspect when it comes to opening packs. It took a lot more boxes to be opened in order to complete a master set compared to what we saw back in the day of uh, the the sun before some black and white era right i mean before rainbow rare cards even existed so this is pretty crazy pretty crazy numbers 7.88 hits per box for evolving skies just less pretty much the same as what we saw in fusion strike chilling rain had 7.71 Barely any less, but again, 97 Ultra Rares compared to the 67 that we see in Fusion Strike. So it should be easier since there are less Ultra Rares because those are the tougher cards to pull, obviously. Uh, a lot easier to complete the Master Set for... Um, fusion Strike than what it would be for Evolving Skies or Chilling Rain. So if you haven't started on any of these three sets yet and you're looking at getting back into Pokemon right now, maybe start with Fusion Strike. Boxes are still, still fairly cheap. They're about $115 to $120 a piece. Uh, you can find them fairly easy. So not as bad of an investment to go and try and get those. Evolving Skies is probably more fun to open because there's a lot more chase cards in it for a lot of people who like Evolutions. But Fusion Strike still, it does have some, some cool Pokemon in it. Uh, so I do think that it is a better set than what we saw with Battle Styles. There is some good competitive cards in it, uh, but the 67 Ultras is definitely a more attractive rate to try and pull through than what we've seen in Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain. So it's just Pokemon needs to figure this. Evolving Skies could have been broken up into two sets. Maybe you release the first half this year, the first, the second half next year, whatever, whatever the case may be. But 105 Ultras, it, it's a lot compared to 67 that we're seeing in Fusion Strike. Guys, that is our pull rate data for Chilling Rain. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed delivering it to you. It's always fun to look at this stuff and to talk about this and just kind of put the, the, the numbers out there thinking out loud seeing okay you want to enjoy collecting you want to enjoy opening packs but how can you do that without breaking the bank you know because pokemon cards are expensive no matter what and if you open pokemon cards
cards, you are going to lose money no matter what. Anytime you open up packs, it's going to be very difficult to gain any money. And that's not why you open up packs. You open up packs for fun. So any way you can lose the least amount of money and maximize your fun, it's a win-win. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to leave a like down below, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed, and you will be entered to win this Ultra Premium Collection from Celebrations. We will give this away. The winner will be announced next Friday. This is week seven of our eight weeks of Celebrations. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for your time, your attention, your dedication, your loyalty. You guys mean the world to me. I don't know why I just did that. Don't hate me for doing that. That was weird. But thank you so much. Until next time, peace.